It's now time for the second game in the Prince of Persia trilogy. Welcome to Prince of Persia Warrior Within. Now, uh, I know there's some, uh, there's some sort of reputation attached to this game. After everybody just loved and were, you know, heralding the, the sands of time as a bold new step in video game narration and stuff like that, uh, you know, one of the best games of the generation. Uh, this one kind of ruined all that. It was 2005. Everything in video games was its edgiest, its most blood soakiest, and Prince of Persia was no. Uh, it was uh, not exempt from that. Now, I know this one's supposed to be like the worst one, so bad that people didn't really care about the third game when that came out. But. You know, you, you know me, I played Shadow the Hedgehog, I didn't hate that too much, so maybe the edginess won't really be affected on me too much, or maybe it'll just hurt me twice as bad. But either way, let's hit start and begin. Uh, this is a weird menu. Uh, let's check the options. We have... We still don't have subtitles, do we? Nope. Still no subtitles. Well, maybe. Display. Aha! There are subtitles! Great! We can't do the 3D stuff yet because, you know, I don't have a 3D TV. Nobody does anymore. Alright, well, uh, with that in mind, let's get started! Uh, difficulty, easy, normal, or hard? Uh, let's just go with normal. I always have this fear that easy mode will lock you out of, like, the last part of the game because, ha <laughs> ha, now play the real game, you baby boy! <laughs> Meanwhile, at Age of Empires. Whoa, he's fast. Prince running away from his eventual M rating at the ESRB. No, we're a T rated franchise! You can't have senseless blood and killing! Yeah. Did you unlock the Sands of Time again? Am I too spoiled or am I, ex am I uh, expecting too much and wanting to run for this part? Something about the computer animation of these of these cutscenes I, I kind of like. No, it's the way they move, I guess. It's like in the some boundary in between cartoony kind of. We're not sure how things are supposed to move and beautiful, fluid, realistic animation. Just just right at the cusp between when we started to learn how CGI works. KILL THE STORM! Bring us closer to the wind. Closer to the wind? Like, the way the wind's blowing, or...? Oh, uh, we're getting raided. We're gonna get right into combat starting out, aren't we? Why do I worry that there's gonna be far more combat and far less fun acrobatics? What the heck? What was that, his pager? But... Alright! We're in the, I assume, the Indian Ocean, or somewhere close by. Either way, it's it's a cold, rainy night, and she's walking out with that. Like... 
this does not seem like the moment for a Victoria's Secret shoot, you know? And of course, Horndog Prince is just drawn in by her beauty! Well, I can already see one minor problem. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa! Oh, I thought that was me for a second. All right. Ow. Ow. Okay. All right. So combat's kind of the same. Oh, uh, there's fire everywhere. Oh god. Oh god. Stop. Stop it. They got actual blood instead of magic sand coming out of their wounds this time. Uh. All right, I need to get used to this. Nothing good will come of your sacrifice. The heck did I just? No. Oh. Well, fortunately, we're kind of at that. Uh, we're kind of at that stage in, uh, you know, the sands of time when I all I have to do is just kill them, really. I have the option to stab them, but I think I can just stab them to death, which is very nice. Alright, yeah, actually I assume this is the vault thing. Oh, that's probably a way to get away. Trying to do the tutorial here. Oh, whoa! Cut that guy right in half. Damn. All right. Well, I'm nearly dead. Can I? Oh, I can't drink this nasty, dirty rainwater. What? Everybody gonna kick some ass tonight! Gonna go and murder us some demons now! That's right, I'm the Prince of Persia, yeah! Yeah! Like, it's, it's obvious that they went for a total shift. Clearly they went for a total shift. But is Chud Rock really the best direction to take this series? Like, if any game didn't need the Shadow the Hedgehog treatment, it was probably Prince of Persia. But we have the advantage of time to distance us from this game, so maybe we can laugh at it and maybe unironically enjoy bits of it, because I don't know about you, this song kind of rocks. <laughs> I'm sorry, I like that shit. I mean, I was around for 2005 and the dark emo shit. I was... I like that kind of crap. This is who they were trying to market towards. This kind... You know, I was the exact demographic at the time that they were trying to market to. And if I didn't uh, have such a rough time with Sansa Time when I first played it, I probably would have picked this up too. Oh, good job. You will never reach our shores alive. For your sake, you better hope I don't. Oh, what's wrong with Prince? <laughs> Alright, calm down. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Alright! I can, I can Dark Souls this. Looks like it's just a matter of holding block, waiting until our combo's done. Ah! That's really where the challenge comes in, I guess. Ah! <laughs> like, she looks ridiculous. 
Get up, Prince, come on. Come, come on, Prince. You can take this. Wow, well, alright. Oh, I wasn't supposed to win. can see they're not going to be kind about health. I'm going to have to probably buckle down for this. <laughs> you bitch. Wow, okay. Oh man, really? Oh man, really? Oh man, really? Uh. Alright. It's clear I'm just gonna have to play a little bit smarter. Try and get used to the combat a bit. What does Circle do? Circle doesn't seem to do anything. Triggers don't do anything. Left bumper doesn't do anything. I think I almost did an acrobatic move, maybe, a little bit there. Uh. Oh, thank God for the fast forward function, at least. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! This seems overly cruel to not give me a checkpoint when I need one. I think the lock-on is worse, too. He, he, he doesn't block instantaneously, like he can't block in the middle of a combo. And I'm noticing that is a problem. I do not like that. Alright, let's be a little bit safer here. Ting, 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 ting. Triangle basically is out, because she kind of attacks where I can attack again. Guess I'm gonna have to just square her to death. <laughs> Thrilling combo. Adrenaline rushing combat here. Ah, God! She attacks too fast! P Prince has to, like, wind up his swing. She can just attack immediately. That is a big problem. It's like I can't finish... I gotta really be sure that her combo is done. Seems to be the end of her combo. Now she's just yelling at me. This is th th this is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> like. <laughs> Do, do, do your combo. <laughs> like, I think I cheesed it. Because my defense is impenetrable. She says, getting her ass kicked. Ugh, what? what? Finish him. Which the Maharaja stole the hourglass. 
Ah, all right, where the hourglass came came from. That makes sense, you know, progressing. The hourglass that makes bad things happen. Fear this hourglass. And now we got the place we're going to go get the hourglass at. Back through time. To the birthplace of the sands. Something terrible happened when our army traveled to the Maharaja's palace. You found the sands of time. Uh, recap in the first game. Worse. I opened them. They're really... Like, is, is that still Yuri Lowenthal? Hang on, let me check. Die. I was forced to kill those I fought beside. I, I think that's still him. Those I had loved. But now an unstoppable beast chases you. For the first time in my life. Who? I'm afraid. And you will die. What the heck? I used the sands themselves to reverse time, making it as if the hourglass was never opened. The beast. The Dahaka. No, never mind. It's not Yuri Lowenthal. It's now Robin Atkins Downs. Die, so it will Robin Atkin Downs. That you meet your fate. Like, seriously? Than to wait here for death. Madness. Even if you manage to reach the island, you'll still Well, now that I hear it more, it's obvious. Of time. I will travel back in time and prevent the sands from ever being made. If there are no sands... The Dahaka will have no quarrel with me. Go then, my prince. But know this. Your journey will not end well. Uh. You cannot change your fate. No man can. You try telling that to the man who's Travis Touchdown. Alright, so... Story makes sense. Go to island, destroy time. There are sands of time. And then uh, no one can use it for evil ever again. Everything is unusually gray. I noticed that at the title screen, but everything is really, really gray here. My sword's gone. All right, I got a stick. I got a stick. I'm gonna reenact the lighthouse right here. Hey, trophy. All right, near death. Can I drink some nice salt water from the fucking ocean? Mmm, <laughs> yeah. Taste that bile and disgusting salt. Yeah, I'm, I, I kind of, you know, I like Robin Fine and all, but, you know, I kind, I kind of miss Yuri Lowenthal because he kind of had this, uh, well, first of all, uh, appropriate accent, given his, uh, not his uh, genealogy. And he, he just kind of had this uh, boy, boyish innocence. He really had this sort of ethereal nature of the prince. But now, now that he's got a voice like this, he's at his darkest and most edgiest. So this is going to be hilarious to play, I think. Because it is active... Oh. Fountain saved the game. All right. It is actively going out of its way to seem darker and more mature and all that. And uh, it's it's kind of funny to watch. It's taking this in a completely different direction than it needed to. It'd be like if Francis Ford Coppola wanted to make The Godfather Part Two. Instead of making The Godfather Part 2, he made, like, Goodfellas. Alright. They revamped the combat, and the acrobatics has been lessened somewhat. Still no change that ridiculous fixed camera angle that I don't like. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have fun, aren't we, Prince? Hearing you scream like you're trying to get it up every time you swing your weapon. Yeah, okay. Alright, where to now? Up here? Yeah. Is 
So far, so standards, just usual stuff. I do admire the change in landscape, though, to be honest. You know, in Sands of Time, it was just the just the palace and not much differentiation. Very nice palace, very beautifully rendered, and you know, it's uh, it's basically the setting for the game that makes sense. It's nice to you know jump onto it's just just a nice change of scenery. Still kind of palacey, still, but uh, you know, still works out. your first person mode in case I need to really look at things. I assume they wanted me to look at that. Alright, columns. Still the same. Just hold the direction and you'll jump that way. You don't need to turn as I previously thought. I wonder what this is! New artwork?! Oh my, we're gonna have to look at some things, aren't we? Can I can I see him now? Wait a second. Map? Oh wow. Oh, okay. Huh. Well this will be really interesting. So it's not everything that is and that's, you know, a negative, uh, negative progression. Don't know if I'm a fan of the combat yet. Maybe I'll get more, maybe the combat will get better as the game goes on as they introduce more things. There's nothing I gotta remember. 2005 bad is way different than 2021 bad. Some of the enemies are kind of spongy. We'll just see how much we can forgive of this new tone they're taking. I thought that was another chest. Wasn't anything down there, was there? Nope. Alright, uh... Oh. One of those things. Hey, guys! <laughs> Dude, Prince, you're, sp you're usually pretty chill about this kind of thing. Why are you why, why are you so mad now? Yeah. Man, these are spongy enemies. Maybe it's because I'm squaring them, and I should be I should be showing a bit more, more finesse. Maybe I'll incorporate X somehow. But square keeps them close, though. I like square. If I go triangle, I flip all around them, and then I can't, you know, do anything. And I hit X, I get, a, I jump away from them. All right. So, like, views the map. Sure, I looked at. So, where now? I gotta get through here. Can't, can't knock. I guess. Oh, there we go. Just run up it. Ha! Some security you got here, losers. All right, we've just stumbled into Castlevania. Oh my god, is this another scantily clad shit? It's the same one! What are you doing?! Ha <laughs> ha! Dead! Dead! Dead and kill. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah! Oh! Oh! Am I gonna steal people's weapons? That's kinda cool. What do we got here? Bring it on! What the? This ancient sword is common on the island. Use for three combo attacks: square, square, square. Perform the combo. Oh! So the idea is to steal people's weapons. All right. Uh, 
Yeah, they break easily, though. I don't know, so far my block and square method's doing pretty good. I guess that must be uh, the Dark Souls in me, which wasn't out at this time, obviously. Alright. This ain't good. Haha, <laughs> cut him in half. Alright, that's not much better, but at least I think I'm doing a little bit more damage. I need a heal right now. I need just some water, or like, can I tilt my head up and drink some of the rainwater that's still falling a little bit? Ah, thank god. Alright. This is gonna take some getting used to, but so far, so good. So, uh, yeah, I think we'll break right here, and we will see you next time on Let's Play Prince of Persia Warrior Within. Kinda yeah, disappointed that there was no, uh, visions or anything like that. I missed the framing device of the story and all that, so now if I die, it's just a simple game over. That's disappointing.